Hi, my name's Jason Patrick. I'm an electrical power engineer. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a cable sizing calculation in accordance with AS3008. I'm going to show you how to do the calculation by hand and I'm going to show you how to do the same calculation using software. Let me explain the, ex the example to you. Got six 22 kilowatt motors, each requiring 45 amps per phase, so these are three phase motors. These six cables are going to be installed as so. They're going to be grouped on a perforated cable tray. They're going to be touching. Each of the six cables goes to each of the six motors. These motors are located at different distances uh, from the point of supply. So we've got one cable length of 40 metres, another 55, 90 metres, 135 metres, 180 metres, and a long one at 225 metres. The cables we're going to use will be a PVC type cable, 75 degrees. We're going to use multi-core cables. There's a voltage drop requirement of 2.4% or 10 volts. So the first step to the calculation is to work out the minimum conductor size based on the required current rating. We're going to need a derating factor for that to work out the minimum current current capacity required for the cables. So we're going to look up a derating factor for this installation condition. And we're going to refer to table 24 in AS3008. You'll see what I'm doing on your screen. Um, so this is table 24. As I said, we're using perforated trays. The cables will be touching. Number of tiers is one. And we've got six cables grouped. Therefore, we're going to use this derating factor of 0 0.76. Therefore, the minimum current current capacity of the cables that's required is 45 amps multiplied by 1 over the derating factor, which is 0 0.76, which is 59.2 amps. Next, we're going to look up the required minimum cable size based on current rating. We're going to use table 13 from AS3008 to do that. Table 13, I'm going to bring up on your screen now. Table 13 shows the current current capacity of for three core PVC or thermoplastic cables. The installation will be unenclosed touching. Now we know that we need at least 59.2 amps. So 10 square mil gives us 51. That's not enough. 16 square mil on the other hand gives us 68 amps. which is more than enough. Therefore, based on current current capacity alone, the minimum cable size we need is 16 millimetres squared. The second requirement is the minimum conductor size based on voltage drop. 
This is the voltage drop equation. Voltage drop is equal to length times I times VC, which is taken from a particular table in the standard, table 42, divided by 1000 due to the units of this, this value VC. So we're going to work out the minimum conductor size based on the voltage drop requirement, which is 2.4% or less than 10 volts. So for cable 1, here's the equation. We know that, that cable 1 is 40 metres long. So we've got 40 metres times 45 times our value for VC divided by 1,000. So we need to find the value for VC for our 16 square mil cable, which is what we found is, would be the minimum requirement for current carrying capacity. So here I'm, I'm going to table 42. That's my three phase voltage drop for multi-core cables. I'll be looking at 75 degree cables, our 16 millimeter squared cable that has a VC value for a, a power factor of one of 2.43. So we'll write that value in here. And the voltage drop works out to be Four point three seven volts, which is less than ten volts. So a sixteen a sixteen square mil cable is perfectly fine for cable one. This is the VC value for a sixteen square mil cable. Moving on to cable two, <clears throat> it's a little bit longer, fifty five meters. Let's test the voltage drop for our 16 square mil cable. We'll use a VC value of 2.43. And the answer is 6.01 volts, which again is less than 10 volts. So 16 square mils is, is perfectly fine for cable two. Cable three, 90 meters. 45 amps. Let's try the VC value for a 16 square mil cable. And the answer works out to be 9.84 volts, which again is still less than 10 volts, which is okay. So cable one, 16 millimeters squared is fine. 16 millimeters squared is fine for cable two and again 16 millimeters squared for cable three is, is also fine. Moving on to cable four, longer again 135 meters. We know from the previous calculation that a 16 square mil cable over 90 meters was pretty close to our limit of 10 volts. So we're going to try uh, a 25 square mil cable here. Um, to meet the voltage drop requirement. So we need to find the VC value for a 25 square mil cable. Going to table 42 again. Our VC value is 1.54. It works out to be 9.35 volts for our voltage drop, which is fine. It's less than 10 volts. So we'll use a 25 square mil cable for cable four. That's due to our voltage drop requirement. 16 square mils over that length of run is not enough. Moving on to cable five, 180 meters. Let's try a 25 square mil. Let's work out our voltage drop. VC value of 1.54. Wow, 
Well, actually, we know that's going to be greater than 10, and it is greater than 10. Therefore, for cable 5, we need to try a 35 square mil cable and our VC value. We need our VC value for 35 square mil. Looking at table 42, that's 1.11. That works out to be 8.99 volts, which is less than 10 volts. So for cable 5, we need to use at least a 35 square mil cable. Finally, cable 6. We're fairly close at 180 metres. Um, to our voltage drop limits of 10 volts. Uh, we can try a 35 square mil cable. So that would be a VC value of 1.11. And that works out to be 11.24 volts, which exceeds our 10 volt requirement. Therefore, we need to go to the next cable size up which will be a 50 square mil. Our VC value for 50 square mils is 0 0.829. Our voltage drop value, 225 meters times 45 amps times 0 0.829 divided by 1,000 works out to be 8.35 volts. which is less than our 10 volt voltage drop requirement. So we need at least a 50 square mil cable due to, due to voltage drop for cable six. Therefore, in summary, cables one, two, and three, are, we're fine to use 16 square mil cables. Cables, cable 4, we need a 25 square mil cable. Cable 5, 35 square mil. And cable 6, at least a 50 square mil for voltage drop. So, so thanks for following the calculation by hand. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using software. Now I'm going to show you how to size the six motor cables using Cable Pro Web software. I've set up a project called Motor Cables. I'm going to add the first calculation for the first motor cable, Motor Cable 1. I'll set up this calculation. We know the load current is 45 amps. Derating factor I'll come back to. Three phase motors. Our voltage drop requirement is 2.4%. The length of run for the first motor cable is 40 metres. Thermoplastic PVC cables, those are multi-core cables. This brings up table 13 as we refer to in the hand calculations. The installation is unenclosed touching. Now I'm going to go ahead and calculate the derating factor. <coughs> Cable tray or support, installation un unperforated trays and touching, number of cables is 6. The derating factor for that is 0 0.71. I'm going to go ahead and accept that derating factor. As we can see, the minimum cable size for motor cable 1 is 16 square mil. Our voltage drop is 0.95%. Now bear in mind that this software uses a very accurate voltage drop calculation method, more accurate than the hand calculations, but the cable size is the same as the hand calculations nonetheless. Now all I'm going to do is go back and copy this calculation. I'll simply rename it as motor cable 2. 
I'll go in and I'll merely change the length of run to 55 meters. Same cable size, same as the hand calculation, 16 square mil. Voltage drop has gone up to 1.31%. I'll go back, copy this calculation. Rename it as motor cable three. I'll go into the calculation. I'll change the length of run to 90 meters. Cable size hasn't changed. Voltage drop has gone up. Let's create motor cable four. Copy this. Rename as motor cable four. The length of the run for motor cable four was 135 meters. Cable size has gone up to 25 square mil, which matches the hand calculations. Copy this as motor cable five. The length of the run for motor cable fives was 180 meters. Cable size hasn't changed, 35 square mil, 1.91%. Finally, let's do the last calculation. Motor cable six. The length of run was 225 meters. Now we see that the minimum size shown here for motor cable six is 35 square mil, which differs from the hand calculation. And that's due to the power factor that's being considered. If we go back to the power factor of one, which we used in the, hand, the simple hand calculations, we can see the minimum size would be 50 square mil. But if we consider a reasonable power factor for a motor um, being 0 0.85, we can actually reduce the minimum cable size required to 35 square mil and save some money. Voltage drop is 2.39%. And that concludes the, con the calculations using software. As you can see, it's a, a lot easier, a lot faster, and more accurate as well. Uh, having said that, it's very important to understand the hand calculations. Uh, that's a useful skill as well. Thank you for watching. If you like the look of Cable Pro Web Software, you can try it for free. Visit elek.com.au.